All right, Dave. Dave, come this way. Okay, Dave, to your left, to your left. All right. Okay. Hey, we are right in the middle of this. As I said, we tried to get at the, we were at the back and now we're right in the middle. As you can see, Jack's Donuts, we've done stories on that place. We're trying to back up. We were so much for social distancing, but Jack's Donuts right now, they are breaking the windows. Those are residences above this. I know the guy who owns this Jack's Donuts actually lives in this building. Uh, this is what's happening live right now in downtown Indianapolis. All of this tonight, Daryl, uh, all of this tonight, I hear you. None of this happened until five minutes before we came on the air when police tear gassed everyone. And that's what set this off. This has been completely peaceful. It has now turned dangerous and violent as windows and buildings are now being smashed and you hear alarms going off. Now Indianapolis is now starting to feel a bit like Minneapolis tonight. Reporting live in downtown Indianapolis, I'm Cameron Muddle, RTV6. Keep the shot. We need to get the fuck out of here. This is crazy. I just came from Alabama. Twelve and a half hour drive. You came for this? I came because my cousin lives here. Right? Uh -huh. So we do. I've been busy down here. It's been crazy. It was crazy in Atlanta earlier too. I get both sides. Or give me an interview at the actual protest. You hear that car? Huh? You hear that car? We might here. Oh boy. Okay. Thanks for coming back. Oh. 
Okay, folks watching on. Yeah. Because I was on TV, this happened when we were live. And the police are coming back now. Okay, I gotta go. Um, all right. Hey, are we still on? Are we streaming still? Um, okay. No, we're fine, but it works. We're, we're all right. We're all right. Just making sure you're keeping it up. Shit, Dave. Excuse my language. We're still on Facebook, but here comes tear gas. We're 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 up. They're going. Is it this way? All right, we're moving. Okay, for those of you still watching us on the Facebook stream, here's what's happening right now. For the second time, okay. Oh, we're not in a good spot because it's all getting trapped back here. Uh, these here, oh boy. That burns. These are some of our fellow members from the Indianapolis media, the Indy Star. We were all trying to keep our distance toward the back of this. And as things turned around, we became at the front of this. And once again, as you were just watching, whether you're on TV or on our live stream, uh, we were a distance away, but the police just came to us. So we're kind of trapped right now. Uh, we're at 120 Market Street. I don't even know, we're, in, we're, in the, we're at the Hilton. I can see on this gentleman's shirt. You can see the staff from the Hilton. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if, uh, uh, you, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. All right. Uh, off to the, in the distance here. We're back taking a little break. All right, just going through. Okay. 
uh, police throwing tear gas, but you can hear in the background windows breaking, uh, alarms going off now, and us getting tear gassed. I'd like to think that the masks helps a little bit, but I don't think so. Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. Okay. I'm worried about Kelly. All right, so uh, these folks here are from the Indianapolis Star. Uh, been out here with us all night as well as our uh, members from uh, Fox 59 and, and Channel 8. Normally in TV land, we pretend like it's just one crew giving you all the news, but in a time like this, we literally all stick together and take care of each other and at least check on one another, watch each other's back. Uh, because even if we wanted to leave, we're kind of stuck in the middle right now between the protesters at the Capitol and the police this way. Dave, are you okay? Yeah. All right. All right, yeah. Mm. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. oh, see, I just went, I just caught a bit of wind. We're kind of in an enclosed space, so we're, we're away from everything, but the air does what it wants to do. And it's traveled back here where we are. Thanks. And they were kind enough to give that lady a, a bottle of water. If you've never been tear gassed, I can tell you what it feels like. You can see my eyes are starting to water. My face is starting to, around my eyes, I think it's the liquid irritating the skin. Everything's burning when you inhale. If you've ever had fireball alcohol, it's kind of like that, but worse and less enjoyable. It's not pretty. Is that about, is that about accurate? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you're seeing tears come. There's really, no place we could go. The other thing is about where our news crews are parked, our news cars, are on the other side of downtown. We've walked all the way through. And I'm just going to keep my eyes closed for a second because this burns like hell. Excuse my language, but it burns like hell right now um, with no relief. And the original yeah. thought was to come here away from folks, but uh, that. That, that, that hit us bad back here in this corner. Dave, you okay? You done all right? All right. That, that last bit of wind hit me like hell. So, you know, you know, part of my training in the Marines was we had to do Oh, boy. You know, this is one of those situations where we're trying to keep social distancing. We have masks on. We're trying to stay away from crowds and... Uh, you know, even in these situations where we, like I said, we're at the back of the crowd, the crowd in an instant, the back became the front. And that's where we were between police with tear gas and protesters who were a block away. But the police came right up to where we were and started throwing tear gas. And so now we are, we've got some Indy Star folks here. We're, they're, they're a team. I've got my photographer, Dave, here. We're a team. Our, our colleagues from Fox and 8 were somewhere behind us, and we've lost them. And... <laughs>